All right, so now let's say my opponent is holding my ankle. And this is very simple to pass when he's holding just your ankle like that, okay? Um, you can easily take the De La Riva hook out. That's the first thing you gotta do. And as I told you before, you must twist your hips like this, okay? Take the hook out. And now look, when you go away, you're gonna kick the leg. You turn really quick and kick your leg this way, okay? So now you're free. And of course, in this case, He's, he's not controlling me with this hand, okay? When I say he grabs my, uh, my collar here, I must break his grip, control. He's gonna try to re-grab, re-grip. When he's going to the re-grip, I, I skate. So now easily I can get like leg drags, do the same thing I showed you before, like this or here. If you apply the position here, I can go inside or the arm bar, okay? So uh, the only thing I wanna make sure on this technique here, it's so simple for you to escape. Two ways to escape. First one, he's kicking that way. So he's grabbing here, break. When you try to re grip, you kick the leg. Just kick towards the side that the hand is open, okay? And the other way is stepping your foot over. But to be able to do that, you must make a nice posture. So as soon as you break the grip, you pop his De La Riva hook and bring his foot here, okay? And keep controlling the, the ankles. Now you kick the leg forward, so you must, you must close this leg here a little bit so you have more weight on this side so you can move your leg around, okay? So again, I go one, two, pull up. You see that I do a little step like, to take the leg out. Okay, so if you keep your leg behind you here, like you feel like off balance, okay? So you must do this and then you start going for leg drags, okay? Um, even fighting with the gi, I really like to use C grips. You guys just see that a lot. I like to use the C grips better than grabbing the pants. There's a toy on the pass holding the pants and maybe you question yourself, oh, why? Why Professor Galvão is not holding the pants, okay? Um, it's simply because when I'm holding the pants, sometimes my opponent has a baggy pants, and when I hold his pants, sometimes he's able to still moving his feet over my arms and inside, okay? When I grab like this, I feel like it's really hard for him to, to move his legs. I really prefer that, and I use that a lot in no-gi. We use that no-gi a lot, and I think when you train, uh, when you train nogi, it will really help you on your speed pass and your toriano pass, on your leg drags, or this type of grip here. So I'm going this way, he's gonna try to move. I'm gonna stay full, move to the other side, and get the side control. So I really like to feel more his body than the material that he's wearing. So I like to feel the body, okay? And you guys will listen a lot this word, like feel, feel, feel. I say, oh, I'm feeling his turning, I'm feeling his going away, I'm feeling, because jiu-jitsu is about feeling, it's not like what you see. And a lot of times we, when we train, we so worry about the things we see, right? But to be honest, you need to feel, okay? And when you get that level of feeling the positions, feeling where he's placing the foot, feeling how he's breathing, feeling if he's angry, feeling if he's breathing too deep and heavy, feeling that if he's relaxed or not. So it's about feeling. You gotta have all your sense on, right? All your sense, like the touch, the listen, like what you listen, what you see, right? You gotta be like aware of everything. And sometimes I like to train with my eyes closed a lot, like especially before my fights, like two weeks prior my, my main uh, fights, I like to close my eyes and just feel like, just flow. I feel like I train better when I close my eyes. I train way better. I never fought with my eyes closed. There'll be too much Bruce Lee stuff. <laughs> but um, I feel that I can feel more my, my opponent. I can feel more the fight. I can feel more uh, the breathing of my opponent. Okay? It's not about what you see. It's about how you're feeling and what you feel from your opponent. You can feel his body. You can feel his emotions. And you can feel his breathing. Okay? which is really, really important, right? 
So again, so if you just grab here, it's simply like go step one, two. If you want to step over, I gotta bring his leg up and keep his legs here. Try to scramble, try to do anything. Okay, so you keep his legs here. Once you're here, you go back in this scenario here. Okay, and sometimes I use my elbow against my, uh, my uh, actually my inner thigh against my elbow to push and apply more weight on my opponent. At least one side, not never both sides because you can't, but one side at least, like this. And every time you feel the pressure back, let's say when I'm here, okay, I feel like he's putting pressure, like to try to stiffen his leg again. Okay, go back, pressure. I throw his leg to the side and, and then I, I go for the side control. Or I got a nice leg drag, or I feel his leg going up, I go for the stack. Just throw his legs up and boom, go for the stack, okay? One, two. Now you put pressure, you feel, go to the side. Every time there's a reaction, you go for the three. Right? Here, the reaction, throw his legs up and boom. Now you are in the stack position that we, we worked before. I show you a very basic way to pass with the stack. There's so many ways. Maybe we can do another video just talking about stack pass. But right now the focus is just um, getting out from the De La Riva guard and passing the De La Riva guard. And like I say, the De La Riva guard is the father of uh, the Brimbolo, is the father of the lapel guard, the father of Orm guard and everything, okay? Everything else. Uh, I wanna keep up here, keep stack or pressure, three on the leg drags, 